welcome to California. Oh my God, Jason, there's a dollar right there. What? There's a dollar. Where? I see it. I don't see a dollar. It's possibly a $2 bill. Go get it. We gotta do the intro, then we'll go get it. Okay. Welcome back to California and have we got a trip planned for you. We're gonna be dry ice blasting. Everything. Sun Kang's uh, Grand National that is gonna be built for SEMA. And In then Tokyo it's Auto Salon. <laughs> going everywhere that's crazy and then we're gonna go to jay leno's garage and we got some other fun stuff planned for you so let's go stick around let's go get the dollar okay dollar hold on <laughs> the, oh, wait where are you leaving we can't run through the trees <laughs> i see it there it is it's a single dollar nice man <laughs> california is so rich they just leave dollars in parking lots <laughs> That's the best. That's like the start of our day. That means it's going to be a really good day. And it was heads up. I know that's for coins, but. Yeah. All right, we're caffeinated, ready to go. Thank you. Clash, Clatch, how do you say it? Clatch? Clatch Coffee, thank you very much. Uh, we're gonna head to Sunbelt. We need to rent a an air compressor because unfortunately our plans changed because of COVID. You guys probably know a lot of this over the past three years, but originally we we're coming down here to team up with IM Detailing to dry ice this Grand National. Unfortunately, Jacob came down with COVID he still let us use his machine, which is awesome. Thank you so much, Jacob. I really appreciate it. And check him out. He's got an awesome channel on YouTube. I'll link it in the description. Um, but it kind of leaves us up in the air. Uh, we have to go get air <laughs> for this machine to run properly. So uh, we don't have to do any dry icing today. So today is just kind of a uh, running around day. Go get the air compressor hook up the machine, make sure it works, and then we're doing blasting tomorrow. But we got some special stuff today. We're actually gonna go to Jay Leno's garage this afternoon, so stick around. All right, stopped at Sunbelt. Got the air compressor that we can pick up tomorrow morning. Uh, so we're gonna do a few things. We're gonna run over to WR Technica and make sure the dry ice machine is ready for the air compressor to connect tomorrow morning so we can record. Just stop by Target and then we're gonna go see a detail shop, right? A couple of detail supply shops. Detail supply shops. But first, uh, on the road, I've been on the road for a little bit and sometimes you gotta work on the road. I have to record a couple voiceovers some, <laughs> for some videos coming out. So I'm gonna do that right here in the car real quick. <laughs> All right, welcome to WR Technica. This is where we're gonna be blasting tomorrow. We're gonna set up the dry ice machines. And I gotta thank a couple people real quick because they helped us out big time here. Um, one is the Dreiss man who hooked us up with this smaller machine here. And I'll talk about this a little bit. We have two different machines that we're gonna be using. We're using the Cold Jet PCS 60 and we're gonna be using this ICS ice cleaning machine. And I'm gonna do a whole separate video on both of these machines and give you the pros and cons of each of, each of them because they're both unique in their own way. Different types of machines for different types of jobs and we'll go into uh, everything and I'll go into the features and all that stuff for you. But I wanna show you the car that we're gonna be working on. This is a Grand National and we'll get Sung to kind of explain his vision of what this car is going to be. But this car here, actually was sitting in a desert for almost 20 years. Somebody bought it and just sat there. It's in rough shape. They are tearing apart the car. We're here just to dry ice the undercarriage and get some of the parts that they're gonna actually save nice and clean because they, they don't know exactly what they're gonna save yet. Obviously, they're gonna be doing some body work and repainting the exterior. We're not doing anything there. We're just going underneath the car in this engine bay and we're gonna clean up as much as we can. So we're gonna get these dry ice machines set up for tomorrow. We're gonna to do some recording. Uh, they're actually doing a pilot for a TV show with this car, super exciting. In the meantime, why don't we show you around WR Technica. We're also gonna be testing out the dry ice machine on this 
vehicle here, clean up some of these undercarriage parts. You see how dirty and nasty some of this stuff is. Gonna test it out, see how well it does cleaning up that. Little extra security here. Nice little desiccant dryer from the old uh, Harbor Freight, six bucks. So a big shout out to Scott Ailes with Dreiss here. Um, he's actually the one who helped us get this machine. This machine is actually Matt, who has a YouTube channel that we're gonna link in the description below too. So Matt actually lended us this machine so that we can use it. Uh, we're gonna compare the two machines. We're gonna use these two different machines for two different types of cleaning. Uh, so thank you, Scott. Check him out. I'll put his description in the link before. You can actually buy this machine from Obsessed Garage and we're gonna test it out and uh, show you guys what you can do with this particular machine. Uh, it's super excited. We're gonna test it out here on this part here, which is super dirty. So we're not expecting miracles from our desiccant dryer inline filter. We're literally putting it there just as a little extra precaution. So don't flame on us too bad, dry ice guys. <laughs> right, we're working with what we got here. Yeah. Um, and just taking, it's not our machine. Thank Matt for letting us use it. Just wanna make sure nothing gets in there that's not supposed to be there. Um, so obviously with dry ice machines, having enough compressed air to run the machine is is ideal so the bigger machine you need a big air compressor which they don't have so we actually rented a diesel air compressor that will be coming here tomorrow you guys saw us do that this morning this particular machine right here does not need as big of air compressor this can run off your normal what is so, it so this is I, from what my understanding this will work off of any shop air source you just want it to be as dry as can be so i think that yeah. if you have a 60 or an 80 gallon air compressor it's probably better if you have that refrigerated dryer attached yeah horrible angles for me from down low, i know it's a really cool angle actually because of the sun in california my new hair you look like a giant anyways what i'm trying to get at is you want as dry as air as possible because when you have moisture in the lines it's actually gonna freeze on whatever you're shooting. And we're just testing a plastic part here. This machine is great for smaller things like engine bays, engine cleaning, door jams and stuff like that. And then we got the bigger machine to actually blast a lot of the undercarriage stuff that's really, really, really caked on to um, a lot of these metal parts underneath the car. So we're gonna get some air to this machine and test it out and make sure it works. So we actually bought this at Harbor Freight. It was only 10 bucks when we bought it, but it's a little mini dryer. Yeah, so it's just a desiccant dryer. Like if you open up a box of sneakers, you have a little bag that has a desiccant in it just to oh. kind of get the, the moisture out from storage, just yeah. changing temperatures. So, I mean, I don't have high hopes for it, but a lot of guys have like backyard painted their cars with it. Okay. And I know it's gonna move the CFMs and hold the PSI we need. And then if the blue desiccant inside, the little crystals, once it turns pink, it's absorbed all the moisture it can, and it's pretty much useless at that point. So again, because we borrowed the machine, and we're trying to stay true to the dry ice guys out there. Um, we want the driest air possible. So yeah. yeah, let's get it plumbed up. Let's get some air through it and see what we got. All right. Okay, you want to give her a shot? I mean, you're you're the expert. Well, you want to hold the camera? All right, so it's got a little bit of power. It's pretty clean. Without damaging the 30 plus year old plastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's dirty inside. All right. All right, running on a tight schedule as usual. We got the little dry ice machine working. Uh, we're now headed to Burbank, which is about an hour away. We're gonna go have lunch with Jessica Tran. Um, didn't get the WR Technica tour <laughs> like I wanted, um, but maybe we'll do that tomorrow for you guys. Burbank, baby. All right, we just spent the last several hours hanging out at Jay Leno's garage and uh, Jessica came with us, that was really cool. So we're actually looking at carrying the Jay Leno garage product line on car supplies warehouse and that's kind of why we got the special invite there. Jay was there, we got to meet Jay. 
the Leno. I gotta shake his hand. I didn't bring the big camera in because I didn't want to be rude and I didn't know the rules of pictures and cameras and everything. <laughs> place holy crap it's like i don't know how many buildings are it's tens of thousands of square feet i think it's three square miles he said of just cars and motorcycles and just memorabilia memorabilia the walls i mean holy crap this place is awesome i mean literally we were just i was just waiting for them to kick us out <laughs> we were hanging out so they were actually shooting some footage for um i believe it's walmart that the because jay leno products are sold at walmart and they were shooting some footage some pictures and some film for um advertisement or whatever some new products that I they mean, have coming out it was only Larry Chen. I mean, he's yeah. yeah, he's fine. And then he gave us a special tour. <laughs> Which is fine. It's all fine. We got two tours. Um, <laughs> so cool. I mean, that was amazing. What else are we gonna do today? I mean, dude, like, the, I mean, we, you know, we're really good at washing cars. I guess I don't know. It is weird that we're detailers and we have this opportunity to do stuff, and I'm so thankful for it. And it's, it's odd, you know, just shaking Jay Leno's hand, hanging out with Sung today. It's just, um, it's really cool. It's really cool. You want to go start building an R33 Fast and the Furious replica car? Why not? Let's go. <laughs> it's fine. It's all fine. <laughs> Adventurous day. The good news is we get to actually work tomorrow. Yeah. Good night, Eric. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Good morning, good morning. I uh, sent the wrong file over to the guys yesterday that, on that voiceover that I recorded. So, uh, quickly sending that over this morning so we can get the day started. We are starting by heading over to Sunbelt again. We got to sign all the papers and then we got to find a way to get that air compressor over to WR Technica so we can start blasting some stuff. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Um, mate himself, I think, is going to meet us at 8.30 at okay. Sunbelt. Okay. Let's go to Clatch. Clatch! Let's go to Clatch. <laughs> Should we find more dollars? Eric. We're getting rich here. <laughs> I just got up and sitting there. They're so rich in California, they leave money everywhere. <laughs> so the male, the male thread goes in here. Yep. And then... That has to go on the other side and connect to the air compressor. Well, we don't have to use that hose though. Oh, we, we don't? We can go from this to this. Okay. Got it. So we need a male, male, well, we just three quarter inch we to just, one inch. Yeah. Back to the store. Yeah, this is perfect. It looks like we can probably move it if we need to. Look at that bad boy. Okay. Excellent. Good, yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. I'm making Eric do all the work because I'm the camera guy. <laughs> <laughs> cool. We'll try cleaning this tire. Two. Fill it up. What? What if we want to? I'd do two or three. 
It can it can stay in here. All right, boy. All right, let's try it. So excited. Glasses. I don't feel like we're shooting ice. We're not. There we are. No. Keep on going. Go again. You're losing air, aren't you? Now let's try. Um... Oh, up this. Okay, try that. Calls it Jacob. Hey, what up, buddy? What's going on, mate? Hey. <laughs> We're almost there, dude. Take us home. Okay. Um, so we have everything hooked up. We have an air compressor. Okay. Um, we're just starting it out. We're not getting any ice out of the gun. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking, oh, you know what? Uh, show me the gun. Show you the gun. Take, take the gun. What light is on? Number uh, one. Okay. So left side, uh, number one is just air. If you push the second button. <laughs> It should be green and it should come with ice. Okay, let's try that. Red light. Ice. Oh, we got ice! <laughs> Is it supposed to be red? Uh, red it's only like indicator that uh, you don't have too much ice in it, probably. No, we don't. We just have a little bit. Yeah, so that should be, that should be fine. The red light, red light is, doesn't mean anything, so we can, you can work. Okay. Uh, what setup do you have there right now? We have two pounds per minute. Smallest ice we can have and 50 PSI. Okay, so put that one pound per minute. Okay, one pound per minute. And the 50 PSI, it's fine. We can go maybe a little bit higher even like if you want, but test it maybe from lower and go up. But don't spend too much on one spot on the wheel. If you will spend too much time, you can possibly get the paint from the wheel. So just blast it like I would say like max five, ten seconds on each spot and then move on and then go, go back if you need it. Okay. All right. We're looking good? Yeah, I think so. I think looking fine. So just like I said, if you will remove any glue or something, don't spend like, you know, 30 seconds on a minute just on one spot to blast it. Okay. Right. Go back and forth, so. Got it. <laughs> it's pretty cool, man. You want to push the car out here? Or keep on going on the wheel or grab one of those parts? What do we got? Heat shield for the turbo. It's dirty. Yeah. Wait, wait what is what? So that that's was, that? it's, it's freezing cold. So that's original? Yep. Yeah, that's what that's it was. Yep. Yeah. But is that like the, the highest level? No, oh, this no. is like, two, this one? is a small gun at minimum yeah. settings. Yeah, minimum. So yeah. super safe. Oh, shit. Super Game safe. Changer. I want to clean Buddy's white walls with it. <laughs> I wonder if we'll make them white again. Let's try it. Yeah. If this is still up for metal, or is it safe for paint? Let me turn the PSI down. All right, we're at 40 PSI, and I'm gonna take it down to three again. Okay, we're at min. No difference. No difference. <laughs> it looked like it was gonna be a difference. Yep. Yeah. I think you need a chemical to yeah, you gotta take that it. off. You gotta bleach it. What level is that, one? Low. This is the lowest level. Like, there's another gun that's twice the size and it like you cannot hear anything you have to have ear protection because it's so loud that's but on that is that the maximum level you can go on that no one? this is the minimum level on, on this gun. yeah so like this is a point three. it goes all the way up to three inches but like i mean imagine if this was like a, wow. a one of one from like an unvin 240. yeah like you're not going to put acid or a cleaner on this and to go from this to that true is like yeah. i mean you know that's where it, that's where the value is. So, you know how typically you would have to strip this off and everything? Mm -hmm. Will the water, will the ice go through all of this so you don't have to take this off? Hey, blast that. Let's see what that looks like. A little zinc. <laughs> Once it pulls off. You see the gold? Wow. And it didn't, it didn't hurt the black enamel. It's pretty cool.
So let me introduce you to the King Kudo project. Um, we'll start with the name, King. Uh, being a Buick Regal uh, G body chassis, we felt like it was, we needed a Regal name, something appropriate. So King, I felt was very royal. And Kudo in Japanese uh, means a mixture of black and Asian, like Hapa, which is like white and Asian. So. Kudo, so King Kudo, it just, it, it sounds just like a, a, a very, very masculine name and appropriate for this car. Um, this is an 84 Grand National. It's the first year that the Grand National came out. And the thing that made the Grand National special was the V6 with the turbo. It was a first factory consumer car that was available. Um, it wasn't the first turbo in America, but it was this, you know, designed at Buick in 79 by Ken Baker, a Boy Scout leader, to show his students how you can make a V6 engine more efficient using turbo technology. Buick took that and eventually evolved it into what you have here. And the engine was a 3.8 liter V6 turbo, a hot turbo. Did not that have the intercooler in 84. So this year is not um, a very popular year in the Grand National community. So this was owned by Eddie Hernandez, who lives in Palmdale. And he is a cousin of Rafa's. Hey, Rafa is a close friend of ours and the guru of Grand Nationals and GNXs in Southern California. Great man. He inspires us to be better um, as, uh, as a friend, as a father. Um, just a great example of what a human should be. And his love affair transcends into this Grand National and it becomes infectious. So. We became, in, you know, we be, became students and stewards of this knowledge, and and then um, we have Buddy that you guys worked on uh, months ago, and you got Buddy back to life, and we use Buddy as an example to learn the history and the foundation of why people love the Grand National. So then we decided, all right, we got an opportunity to get a rolling chassis, which means that there's no engine in this, so the engine was taken out. We have a California car that has been sitting since 2003 in the desert, so there's no rust. And Eddie Hernandez has taken care of the car as much as he can, which means that the bones are strong. So that's really what matters and why you want a California car is that it's pretty much rust free, right? And 84, they protected the metal enough where it could preserve the car. And now we're here with the King Crow project. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this motor, this is a dummy block, a V38 from a GTR, which is the king of Japanese JDM sports cars, which is something like that in that family. You see uh, these, these monsters, right? So this VR38, as you can see, this VR38 here, this goes into the, the modern GTR, and it also goes into a lot of the infinities, right? Test and proven engine, this is a workhorse, um, bulletproof, factory that comes about 600 horsepower. This is a 3.8 liter with a twin turbo. We wanna homage the Grand National. This from factory was a 3.8 uh, single turbo V6. So we would like to probably make this into a single turbo, but putting this now into this, and then aesthetically putting some Japanese like rocket bunny kits, our friend Mirosan will be helping with us with that. We have Japanese inspired wheels. The interior will be completely redone, but with our friends at Carbon Signal, you know, we're working with Ricaro right now. Um, and so anyway, so this is a, an opportunity to bring our community together, uh, learn from each other, not just in the aspects of the build of the car, but what it takes to be a builder and also these shared experiences that come out of it. So here we are, King yeah. Crow. What? Why are you Start. so happy about this? So I'm just thrilled for someone who would want to keep the originality of the car, because if we hit this with a citrus all purpose cleaner or something else that we would normally do, it's, you could potentially ruin what's there. And even though it's all cracked and they're probably going to replace it, if they weren't going to replace it, that is a million times better than that, and we didn't damage it. Is this okay to do? It is, but I don't know if with, with this one, but it should be. Look at, look at all that gunk.
Wow. Now look, will a brush and like all purpose cleaner do the same? Yeah, yeah. I'll clean the glass much better. Yeah. But like that was pretty quick and easy and it's done. Yeah. Right? It's like interesting, but like you said, you gotta have something to have really special that you don't want to have. Right. I think there's a lot of cool different applications in different situations that it will it'll work in. Like hard to get shit oh, like here. Like, right. like cleaning that yeah. Oh, I got shocked. You got it. You got it. Me. Really? Woo! Ground cable. Yeah, I hear that. <laughs> that's what that's for. I told you it has to connect to the car. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Like we reconditioned the Remington XT120 CTRs. <laughs> Looks like a brand new wheel. Yeah. Okay, sure. Cool. Awesome. So can you tell me your full name, please? It's Eric Mayevich. I can say my name is Eric. Got it. If we can get some direct lights under here. The shocks are kind of, the shocks make clean up nice. That's kind of cheesy though, because they can be easily replaced. That's under, that's an undercarriage. While well, they keeping this drivetrain and stuff? Like, I think so. So let's clean that up. Let's clean the frame up. And um, as much as the underbody as we can. So it ended up getting really late last night and we are tired, so we cleaned up. But uh, we were hoping to get a lot more of this car done than we actually did. We spent a lot of time doing some other stuff and working with the film crew. But it was a cool experience just to see how everything works and we weren't necessarily here to do the entire car. This car is going under an entire restoration, so they're actually gonna put it on a rotisserie and they're gonna be water jetting this whole thing. Um, but we wanted to get some of the subframe cleaned up and do what we can do. But we learned a lot about dry ice and it was just really another it was just another really cool experience out here in california i want to thank everybody for watching all your support please like subscribe do all that good stuff it really helps the channel grow and thanks for watching again we'll see you next time